But I'm going to explore more before I save the death. I hope it doesn't die because of my negligence. It's a pair of ballet shoes. What is with the random ballerina outfit? Touch the stupid squeaky toys. I guess I can't cross that. Ring ring. Hello, this is Papyrus. Remember when I asked you about Quo? Well, the friend who wanted to know. Her opinion of you is very... murdery. Well, worry not, dear human. Papyrus would never betray you. I am not a cruel person. I strive to be comforting and pleasant. Papyrus. He smells like the moon. That's an absolutely loony thing to say, Papyrus. So because of my inherent goodness, I told her you were not where- Oh! Duh. Even though you told me you were. Instead, I made something up. I told her you were wearing a dusty tutu. It pained me to tell such a bold-faced lie. But I know you would never wear a dusty tutu, but your safety is more important than fashion. Dang. I just want to be friends with everyone. Okay, so maybe I should put that back on then. You all seem to mold small. I can just. Well, that was easy. No reason to lose health there when I'm going to need it much later. You hear a passing conversation. I don't say that, but come on. I promise I won't laugh, uh... Okay. The power to take their souls? This is a power that humans fear. I don't know what that is, but I'm gonna go... avoid it for now. <laughs> I guess I can't go over there. Hello, Aaron. Again. Boxing compass. <laughs> I meant to shoot him that time, but whatever. Nice. I won't lose there. This technique has been passed down the Aaron line for generations. He flexes himself out of the room. Alright. I got lost for a second. I didn't remember where I came from. Oh no, that thing's following me. I'm gonna get attacked. You disturb me. Onion song? You're visiting Waterfall, huh? It's great here, huh? You love it, huh? Yeah, me too. It's my big, big favorite? Can, can, can I go now? Even though the water's getting shallow here, I have to sit down all the time, but hey, hey that's okay. It beats moving to the city. I'm living in a crowded aquarium, like all my friends did. The aquarium's full anyway, so even if I wanted to, I 
It's okay though, you hear? I'm dying to fix everything, you hear? Fix my face with a spear, which is gonna hurt. I'm gonna live out here. I'm gonna get out of here and live in the ocean, you hear? Cool. Hey, there. That's the end of the room. I'll see you around. Have a good time. Waterfall in waterfall. What? I extended the wrong part. That weird. What am I looking at? Hum. I'll hum it. I'll hum a sad song. Shiren follows your melody. Sad. See you see Ah! Well, that was cool. Much more comfortable singing along. Smile. Aaron is here? What? Conduct. You wave your arms wildly, you are now vulnerable to electric attacks. <laughs> That's funny. Ow. Northern Moon hides a great treasure. Let's go find it then. A piano? Quick. There's a piano here. Play it. Okay. A haunting song echoes down the corridor. Can't you tell why? Only the first eight are fine. Unless I didn't do it right. Or rest eight. Okay, I guess that's just there for my enjoyment. I thought it was going to trigger something. This power has no counter. Indeed, a human cannot take a monster's soul. When a monster dies, its soul disappears. An incredibly power. An incredible power would be to take the soul of a living monster. There is only one exception. The soul of a special species of monster called a boss monster. <laughs> A boss monster's soul is strong enough to persist after death, but only for a few moments. A human could absorb this soul, but it has never happened. And now, it never will. Okay, this thing looks ominous. It's a statue. The structures. But its feet seem dry. Please take one. Is that an umbrella? Okay. Put the umbrella on the statue. Inside the statue, a music box begins to play. Music continues and doesn't stop. Cool. I'm gonna take another oh, I'm gonna take another one. I don't wanna continue. Oh, that's just a puddle. I thought that was a shadow. Yo, you got an umbrella? Awesome. Let's go. Man, why are you all up in my Kool-Aid? Get out of here, dude. Why do you keep showing up? I don't even know what you are. You're like a dinosaur with no arms. Undyne is so cool. 
beats up bad guys and never loses. If I was humans, human, I would wet the bed every night. Knowing she was going to beat me up. Ha <laughs> ha. I am a human. Fascist scum. Is it raining? Okay. So, it's... Never mind. <clears throat> what? So, one time, we had a school project where we had to take care of a flower. The king, we had to follow Mr. Dreamer, volunteer to donate his own flowers. He ended up coming to school and teaching the class about responsibility and stuff. That got me thinking. Yo, how cool would it be if Undyne came to school? She could beat up all the teachers. Um... Maybe she wouldn't beat up the teachers. She's too cool to ever hurt an innocent person. Oh, this is cool. I found Disney Castle. Oh, that is sweet. I guess he doesn't have anything to say. Another cave. Return the umbrella. This ledge is way too steep. You want to see I'm dying, right? Climb on my shoulders. Okay. Yo, you go on ahead. Don't worry about me. I always find a way to get through. Yeah, so I've noticed. Oh, sweet. Another save point. Humans afraid of our power declare war on us. They attacked suddenly and without mercy. Everything changed when the humans attacked. If we attack with fire, I hope we attack with fire. The serene sound of a distant music box, it fills you with determination. I can't even hear that box anymore. In the end, it could hardly be called a war. The mind of the humans were too powerful and us monsters too weak. Not a single soul was taken and countless monsters were turned to dust. I'll grind you into dust. Now, this kind of reminds me of the... Esper story in Final Fantasy VI. Um, um, I'm gonna get hit with spears now. Yep. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, this theme song. This music is awesome, though. Oh, don't touch it. Ah! Oh! Struck. Struck fast and without mercy. Oh, what? I moved. Ow! Dead end. Get out of here, dude. Oh, 
Oh wow, no mercies. I'm gonna die. Dude, chill out! God, just like Virgil with his judgment cut storm. The last fight of Devil May Cry 3. Ah, I hate your face. Oh, caught. Dead. That sucks. Game over. It cannot end now. Enter. Stay determined. Ugh. Okay. Well, that sucked. Oh, I have to bust out the nice cream next time. You know what sucks is, as much running back and forth as I did in that last attempt, I still don't really know where to go. From what I could gather, it was supposed to be down. It sounds like it came from over here. Oh, you've fallen down, haven't you? Oh god, not again. Swear to god, if you adopt me. Hunter, huh? That's a nice name. My name is... I landed on a bed of... I don't... Tr I do not trust that. Landed on a flower bed. Piles of garbage are quite a few. There are quite a few brands you recognize. The water foam here seems to flow from the ceiling of the cabin. Occasionally, a piece of trash will float fall to the bottom of the abyss of below. Viewing this endless cycle of worthless garbage fills you with determination. Okay. What shopping cart? Oh, it's a bike. On the rusty bike, its horn wheezes a honk of despair. That was not a honk of despair, that was a silly sound effect <laughs> that made me, that would make me chuckle. You have desktop computer. The inside is empty. It's a cooler. It has no brand. No signs of where. Please drive food bars. Take that. Yes! You got the astronaut food. It's, it's a DVD case for an anime. Desperate claw marks cover the edges. That's funny. Seems like a regular training dummy. The one that I punched into submission earlier? Yes, I'm gonna punch it again. You sock the dummy. Who cares? 
You've had enough of this, Amy. Um, 